This is the Metal Nurse. And this is Brock from 36 Crazy Fist. We're here at Mayhem Tour, and we're coming down to the end here. We have three days left. What has been the most exciting or the best performance or something that stick up, sticked out in your mind during this tour? Ah, uh, boy. I mean, the whole thing's been amazing. You know, every day you get a chance to play to like 10,000 people on the side stage. So that's killer. But uh, I think probably the best uh, thing on the tour for us was the Toronto show, just because we don't get a chance to get to Canada that much and we're from Alaska so we're kind of connected to Canada and we've neglected them so the uh, they just gave us a, a really amazing crowd and it was a awesome day so I'm gonna say Toronto yeah well who who the fuck is from Alaska we are you are yeah what do you even do in Alaska we uh, fight bears and fight bears? drink whiskey and play hockey and live in igloops Igloos. Oh, are they there? No. No? <laughs> no. There's none? I mean, you could make one in your backyard if you want, but... So you go... This is where you go after the tour? Um, well, I won't be off till Christmas, but it will be where I go. And it's really dark for like six months? It's dark for about nine months. Nine months? Yeah. So are you like a dark person? You're a dark soul? Oh, wait, look at this. The Great Alaskan Bush Company. World famous, my friend. World, world famous Bush. So is the bush better in Alaska than in the U.S.? Uh, the bush is definitely better in Alaska, yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, now exp explain that. I want to know why. <laughs> um, it's all the isolation, the yeah. pent up, uh, the darkness. Okay. And, well, and then the summertime, it's light all the time. Oh. I don't know if you know that. No, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, it's nine months of darkness, which really darkness means about six hours of sunlight. It, where I'm from in Anchorage, uh, Barrow up above, it's definitely all dark. Um, but in the summer, it's about 23 hours of sunlight, and dark is not even dark. It's like dusk. So uh, I would say just a combination of a lot of elements. Uh, you guys got bored, right? Yeah, and you, you formed a car, yeah. You get you get bored, and you, and you got you know you got bush, and then you you formed a band because. There was darkness, and there was a light, and there was bush, and you were like, this is the great element to form a band, exactly. a metal band to take over the world. Well, uh, yeah, we weren't being that greedy, but we definitely wanted to, uh, you got to make your own fun up there. There's definitely not a whole lot of things going on outside of, you know, snowboarding and snowmobiling and hockey and drinking and fist fighting and things like that. So bands kind of comes hand in hand with all that stuff. Oh, really? All right. So tell me about your guys' album. Uh, we have a new record called The Tide and Its Takers on Ferret Music, and um, it's our eighth album. And it is a combination of moody rock songs and heavy metal. So when you guys are on tour, is there anything like crazy that happens that's behind scenes that, you know, because th these fans out here, they really want to get to know you. Well, we, you know? uh, we have the best barbecues backstage, hands down. Everybody knows it. Yeah, my bass player is like a really good barbecue chef. Steaks and wings and things like that. And we do it every day. So I think um, everybody like kind of migrates over to our area, and it's which I like because we like to hang out with everybody. What bands do you listen to? Collectively, as a, as a band, we would all say we got into music because of Metallica. But everybody's very diverse. You know, I, I grew up loving the thrash Bay Area bands, but I also love, like, the singer guys like Chris Cornell and Lane Staley, and um, I love Jeff Buckley. Right now, my favorite record is uh, by a man named Dax Riggs, and he used to be in a metal band called Acid Bath, but now he's just like this singer-songwriter, and he has a record out called We Only Sing of Love and Blood. Hands down, greatest thing that's happening in my life right now is that record. So what does music mean to you, if you had one word to describe it? Music to me is uh, medicine. I'm going to say absolute necessity. That was new. I was glad to hear that. Thank you for that. I needed that. So you heard it from the man here. He's a grown boy from Alaska. I'm growing up. We're learning about Alaskan bush. Rather than not be that much bush, though, yeah. if we can. Let's keep that bush no, let's, trimmed down. Let's right trim now. it down. Let's trim it down. Let's whack that, actually. Let's, uh, Why don't we just let's whack escape it? That. Let's escape that. But <laughs> let's whack it. I'm, I'm going to back that. Let's whack We're gonna it. We're going to back that? We're going to wax that <laughs> on Mayhem Tour with the Metal Nerd. Hey!